from Colorado. They were anyway. Yeah. Coming from Colorado, there's a buffalo farm about 30 minutes north of my hometown of Fort Collins, where I, I used to go. They have like 10,000 free range buffalo wow. there. It's pretty awesome. It's a buffalo farm near where I grew up in Wisconsin, too, actually. So many buffalo farms. Yeah. Buffalo's everywhere. You're missing out if you haven't had a good buffalo burger, you by the way. Couldn't throw a rock without hitting a buffalo in, in the Midwest, is what we're saying. <laughs> Here we go, picks and bans for game number two. Najin versus I am. Cassiopeia get, uh, ban against Frozen, of course. Rek'Sai, standard red side ban from I am. I've never had a buffalo burger, though. What? I haven't. You, Are, have you ever eaten buffalo at all? No, I haven't. What? Well, it's not a common meat. It is around, like, it's everywhere in Colorado. I've never even been to Colorado. So I would just you assume know. you had a buffalo farm near you in Wisconsin. You, there would be some buffalo They meat. were just for looking at. They were more like pet buffaloes. Oh, no, this is a farm for do, creating meat delicious buffalo that. meat. All right, I'll have to come to Colorado and eat some buffalo sometime then. <laughs> Lulu banned against Lilac. Again, just taking away what they can. It gets frozen as well, too, I suppose. And there's a Cassidy ban. Not wanting Najin to have that one. Makuza, deep in thought. So I am Lissandra Rumble LeBlanc banned last game. So they are not going to get those same bans this time around. LeBlanc banned out on the blue side, so no first pick for Najin on LeBlanc. It's got to be a NAR ban. They can't let Duke have the NAR again. I would be. Well, I mean, am I wrong? What do you think? I think that would be probably wise to remove it from the champion pool, but... Yeah. Maybe if you want to take that Janna instead and try and deal with it. Didn't work very well last time. They'll ban the Lissandra. Okay, so we'll see what they grab. They could take the Janna. Will they take that Nar though? Well, you might as well just take the Nar here. Duke has yeah. proved time and time again he's very strong on that champion, but his what? Rumble is available in this game. Oh, that's game. true too. You know, when someone's got the, that momentum going, I, I feel like putting them on the same champion again is a good idea. Right, and Lilac does thrive on those more tanky top laners, and he yeah. will take it away from you more than likely. Well, if they don't pick Nar, I would imagine it's going to be Nar Jarvan, the first two picks for IM. Okay, so they will grab that Nar then. I would imagine. Thinking about it, that will, of course, give the Jarvan and Janna over to IM, yeah. which more than likely will form their first round of picks here in the draft. Yeah. Don't think we're going to see the ribbon. Yeah, ribbon jungle, something we've only really seen in China. Hasn't been particularly successful as well, of late. Maybe it's time for IM to get a little bit crazy. We know Tucson has the capacity to play some weird support champs, and I don't think it would be ribbon, but you know, maybe it's something else. Or just Janna. Well, look at this. We may see the Renekton come in, although I don't think that's a really a priority pick right now. Obviously, they're not going to be taking Renekton, but yeah. we did see Marin do well in lane. There we go. Yeah, Janna, Corky, but they give away the Jarvan. That could be uh, quite painful for them. And, ooh, are we going to see another blind pick Zareth? It is Korea. Goong not really known as a Zareth player, however. No. And when Goong tries to play champions that are outside of his typical pool, I'm not really impressed by the results most of the time. I remember him trying to play Yasuo towards the end of season four, and it was a bit of a train wreck. Yeah. Well, you know, I feel like Jarvan should definitely be the other pick here, no matter what they decide to go with for the mid lane, if they pick it. Yeah, almost certainly it will be. The Jarvan grab, Watch has yep. pretty much only played Lee and Jarvan this season. And the clock is ticking down. Will Zareth actually come into play here for Najin? It will. Yep. Well, we'll see how it goes. Well, this is that fake hard pick, but a little bit too late now that Jan has already picked up. You know, Lux. Contemplating his Lux, that is a very big pocket pick for Frozen. He yeah. has demonstrated some pretty insane skill, but he had a still, huge game on Lux still Lux. really risky given the engage potential into the back line that Najin already has. Instead, they will pick the safer Lee Sin and the Rumble, actually, okay. for Lilac. So a losing matchup for Rumble up against the NAR. Interesting. We'll have to see if they have a lane swap planned, possibly, then. So well, the bot lane. With Corky, they're hoping that they can get a successful lane swap in. Because the thing is here, if Zephyr plays Sibber, then if I am successfully lane swaps, then they dodge both dangers while still getting the Corky 
rolling early on. And if Najem plays Tristana and they lane swap, well, you're not really worried as much about Zepha free farming on Tristana compared to Okyu. Yeah. Sure. Zepha's played Tristana, but just not to the same level of skill that we've seen from Okyu. So he's just, Tristana less of a threat, a scaling AD less of a threat in Zepha's hands. Okay. And I, I would be less surprised to see Zepha go with the Sivir here. But Zyra would be very interesting for Pure. So would Karma. Wow, he's going to lock it in. All right, Sivir Karma. This team bully is lane. going to be very fast. Huge <laughs> bully lane. Yeah, very fast team, but yeah. also massive poke lane. So they're kind of all inning on the laning phase right here. If Najin gets standard lanes, if it's all going to be about the warding at level one and who can get the lanes they want because it's looking pretty scary for Najin. Corky and John are going to have a really, really hard time against the Karma Sivir Poke. Yeah. Well, we'll see what the mid lane choice is now for Incredible Miracle. What would you possibly pick to go against something like this? Would a Syndra be appropriate? Yes. All right, you get the knockback. They're gonna need a little bit of disengage. Big, big investment into the mid game, however. Yeah. Syndra Rumble Corky going to be extremely strong in team fights early on. And they could instead go for Lane Ezreal. Feels a bit safer, doesn't it? Very safe indeed yeah. for farming. Still really great. Oh, all oh. right, there we go. All right. So Goom really going to have to show off how good his Zareth play is. Yeah. Wow, and you know, Najin just straight up picked right down the rolls with their picks this game. Yep, so very interesting stuff. Najin gets that Narvin combo again. They acquire the Zareth and interestingly, our first support Karma of this brand new champion spring season. Yeah, I haven't seen Karma for a while. It's, uh, it's cool. She's definitely a good champion. Definitely a lot of poke in that lane. There we go, our lineup for tonight. Najin looking to win in a more late game scenario and IM have a chance with their team composition to really take a big lead. Here early on, they've got that Ari, you can get her to six and get a trade, get a kill onto Zareth, you're going to be in really, really good shape. Yeah. They've got some nice siege, should be able to push down towers fairly easily. Well, we'll see what they can do. Again, you know, win here would be big. Najin not wanting to go one and four in champions. Yeah, this is definitely a big moment for Najin. A 2-0 yeah. for them would be huge tonight. I am. That's the thing, too, is the 2-0 is really necessary as well. Yeah, I am is, they've won two matches in a row at this point. With the That's upset right. against Jyn Air, so they want to keep their momentum going as well. well. Can they make the comeback? Let's find out. Here we go. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Najin EM Fire versus Incredible Miracle. Najin going for a 2-0 in a season that uh, has been a bit disappointing so far, but one they could certainly turn around as they demonstrated in game one. Well, in their wins, they have just looked so strong. Yeah. And I like that we have a, a difference here. In We've terms of pure, man, this Q hurts so much from Karma early in the game. Yeah. This is very important for Sunstar and Tucson to dodge. Well, Spell Thief's Edge as well just makes Karma the poking champion. Should be very fun to watch too, like you're saying, the ultra speed yep. in the late game. Well, it's going to really help too. Uh, the Mantrid E onto Zareth is going to really give Goon a lot of mobility and keep him safe during team fights. Indeed it will and provide some extra shield also yeah. in case Zareth does get jumped on by Ari, which of course will be Frozen's attack of choice. Yep, for sure. Trying to get that flank, trying to come in from the side and kill Goon before he can start laying down some consistent damage from range. Yep. Okay, we looks like we are going to have standard lanes. Wards inside the lanes, everybody trying to see where that duo will be heading at first. Yep. Oh man, I this is really not good. Duke, of course, 
starting with the longsword just for some extra harassment on that melee rumble. Rumble mm. not really able to do much against Dinar. Najin gets yep. what they want. Sonstar and Tucson have to make this work. Zephyr and Pure starting to auto those minions. Already taking a cue onto the back line just to hit that level two as fast as possible. Yeah, dodging a lot of skill shots too. And wow, already chunking out Tucson big time. Again, that Montred Q is going to hit all. It's going to hurt really badly. And Pure just really doing a good job of putting the pressure on. Man, look at that poke. And I'm going to go home and play some combo. <laughs> Karma really not the best support late in the game. She offers yeah. a lot less utility than most champions. Yeah, you don't it's, do a lot of damage then. It's designed to snowball your lane really yeah. hard right off the bat to get a big advantage. And that's exactly what Najin are going to get. Level 2 already. Sonstar trying to walk up with the shield. No longer able to really compete. They do find themselves a minion back. One minion away from two. Yep. And... Oh. Oh, pure warding the river there just to stay safe from any sort of early wisdom shenanigans. Well, they're just going to keep pushing, pushing, pushing right now. Yep. Couldn't play aggressively like you should. Trying to deny Frozen some CS. Give him that little bit of harassment. Nice little combo there. Yep. Frozen again, starting with the Flask. Now, this is pretty common in this matchup. Again, it's just about surviving until you hit six where your jumper can come help you get that kill. Whoa, that damage on the Sunstar. Yeah, late shield there as well, so Sunstar takes it straight to the face. Oh, wisdom. wisdom. He's he gonna comes. take it to the back line to see if he can jump onto Pure and Zephyr here. Pure and Zephyr, they have no idea this is coming. Uh, I think oh they do now. boy, yep, now they know. Sansar Valkyrieing in, getting some damage out onto Zepha. Wisdom waiting for it, trying to get that slow. Zepha is okay for now, and so they do manage to push Zepha in pure back. Just a flash burned, yep. however. Yeah, Zepha flashing, but that's about it. And so a little bit of a win for Nodge, I am. Nodge will take this time, though, just to recall. Yeah. Longsword coming out. Oh, man, Zepha's really all inning. He's going to go for that Brutalizer. I guess so. Again, in this game. Now, we saw that in our first series of the night. It wasn't great. You can see Pure, too, just picking up some pots and wards as well, just making sure that they, that doesn't happen again. And also giving himself plenty of mana to poke with. Right, just go ahead, put the pink ward into the tri brush. Watch with a little bit of a steal right Whoa, there. Whoa, flash charm, and watch has to flash to dodge it. The Q comes in, though, from Wisdom. Gets knocked up, though, and watch makes it out. Nice try. Yeah. I mean, going for the Raptors right there, if you see that gank coming in bottom, try and deny the enemy jungler something. But Tucson recalling at the same time as the duo of Najin. Didn't expect the Janna to be there as well. Do you think this is going to lead to possibly some ganks onto Frozen in the mid lane now that his flash is down? Um, Never mind. Gank onto Goong right off the bat. Goong needs to back off here. Wisdom comes in. Gets stunned. Yeah, gets slowed down. Goong charm, taking charm. some damage. Hasn't had to use his heal. Yeah. Didn't have to use his flash, though. That is the more critical ability. And meanwhile, as Janna roams around the map, Zepha and Pure continue to get some skill shots. Whoa, Lilac may be in a bit of trouble here. Watch coming in, waiting for it. Lilac taking a lot of damage, hasn't flashed yet. There's a flash, dodges a combo, but still taking too much damage. Duke comes in, a little bit of a shield, though. Can Rumble actually survive this? Duke is going to flash for this one. And what in the world? Duke thought he had the kill. Another shield. Lilac may actually escape. No, he won't. Uh, Watch was just waiting to see if Duke could get that kill. A little bit of a yeah. weird sidestep there from Duke. That and was strange. Watch has to take it. Even after Duke uses Flash to try and secure it, Lilac having a tough day up in that top side. Yeah, well, getting a kill onto Watch early on isn't the, the worst thing ever, giving him that first blood gold. But it will mean that Duke can't snowball quite as hard as he would have been otherwise. He's already 10 CS up, though. All right, Lee Sin going to be going for the Krugs on the other side. Wisdom. Oh, here we doing go again. A little bit of denial. Najin should know that he's over there, however. Well, he's doing a good job of avoiding that ward, actually. By standing where he's standing, he's not visible by the pink and try. So when he comes in, Najin's not going to have much of a time to respond. There we go. Coming back now, you're taking some damage. No real problem, though. Good reaction. They yeah. knew exactly where he could be at that time. Well, they were watching. They were ready. I like now returning topside to farm, trying to get that Seeker's arm guard as his first item. Meanwhile, Duke's going to come back into lane with the Hexstring Kurtz. 
be quite painful. Yeah, it makes sense. For Lilac, there is a Watch coming down. spell shield. Sawstar has to Valk. Watch. There weren't even any wards there. I am just got scared. Well, I mean, if as if you have your P bomb spell shielded, you're not winning that trade any longer if Sipper walks yeah. up to you. So go ahead and use the Valkyrie just so you don't take damage for free. Sure enough. Duke just harassing away, trying to get the lane to push back for him. This will give Watch another chance to gank, particularly once he hits six. Yeah. Goon continuing, continuing to poke out Frozen, but he is getting a little bit low on mana. That scary time, Frozen. Yep. Level six, each player with a codex so far. Frozen actually doing a very good job of continuing to keep up and farm with Goon. Lilac trying to get some deep wards down. He now has vision of every pretty much angle that, you know, actually just every angle that Watch could feasibly come from yeah. in this game, even around the back of Baron Pit. So he will not be. Well, there's the ultimate use on the Lilac. Lilac has his own as well. He is oh, level man. six, He's but Duke. Oh, wow. Duke just let him go. The Duke didn't know. Duke. Duke didn't know where the I guess jungler so. was, so he could have been a little bit uneasy about going all in. I suppose that's true. Hand off. Over to Goong. Easy enough. Yep. Oh, Frozen waiting, though. He's got the ward. There's a charm on the Goong. Frozen not able to really follow that up, though. Yeah, there's, I mean, he didn't really have much to go on that. He doesn't have yeah, very he, many items yet. For all he knew, Watch would have been right behind Goon, so. Well, he did see Watch at blue, so probably pretty unlikely that Watch would be there, but. You don't think there's a chance he'd followed Goon back to lane? Well, he would have had to EQ over the back of the blue wall, and so then he wouldn't have any knockup. So. so you're saying it's possible. <laughs> uh, just pretty ineffective, yes. Sonstar getting a little bit of poke on the pure. And blue buff will get handed over to Frozen now. Eventually. There we go. Nice wards. Yeah, they're really doing some work right here. But all things considered, Sonstar is still up in CS. Yeah. Sonstar has yet to recall, though. And I think one of the main issues right now is if he recalls, that turret's going to take a epic amount of damage. Yeah. Here we go, Meganar coming in again. Lilac gets stunned. No ult for Duke, though. So he does have to be a bit careful, taking a lot of return damage, actually, from Lilac. Despite Watch him with him about oh, to mix it up in the jungle. Q misses. He backs out. He sees Frozen right on that pink ward. Yeah, got to be careful with that. Poke coming in from Goong. And Tucson Road taken up. It looks like I am may want to be trying for a dragon here. Lilac very low, though. Yeah, Lilac too low. Also, they don't have control over yeah. the bottom wave, and Corky has yet to recall to buy any items, so taking a dragon right now would be extraordinarily risky. Mm. And instead, we'll see how much damage Zepha can get onto it. Just a ult right there to clear out the minion wave to prevent Duke from pushing forward. Yep, they will both recall. Let's see what the buys are. Lilac probably going to finish that haunting, guys, and he will. One thing I will say about Incredible Miracle is in their last two matches against Najin and Janair, they have had very good vision over the enemy jungler at nearly all times. Wiz and Tucson have done a lot of work oh. to get him deep. Goon getting knocked up. There's a flash charm on the Goon. He could be in trouble. Flashes himself as well. Misses a stun on the Frozen. But Cataclysm Watch coming in. They get the kill and somehow, some way, Goon survives. Getting a bit of damage on the, on the Wisdom on the way out. Duke, Duke here. came down with the teleport as well, yeah. Oh, he failed the hop. You can't hop over that wall, dude. <laughs> I don't think you can anyway. You just got to jump in place. Yeah. Jumped for joy. Yay. At the death of Frozen, who tried to all in Goong right there, who but lived? Karma coming in in the nick of time, pure, yeah. with a great save onto his mid laner. First good off, setup Tucson. By Tucson. Yeah, very good setup. Frozen, another flash charm. Gets the damage down. There's the W. Here's the all in. Goong flashes in return. Misses his stun. Watch comes in over the pit. And look at that, pure flashes to save Goon right there Very and nice. chase Wisdom away. And then Goon. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> nope, doesn't work that way. Sorry, sorry, Duke. Oh well. It was, it was, nice more, it was more of a taunt at that point. Yeah, pretty much. 
Well, he's got the Giants belt. He picked that up on his last back now. So really able to tangle with this Rumble quite effectively. Zepha has his BF sword now as well. Carmen just yelling stuff while she shoots yep. energy at the opponent. This isn't even my final four. I wonder if all Riot's champions this game. Seems like every time they make one, it's just like all these champions just yell stuff now all the time, especially Super Galaxy Rumble, the That's most true. annoying skin in the universe. Have you ever considered yeah. that by the time Riot remakes all of the champions or continues to put out skins, that literally it's just going to be 10 champions just yelling junk <laughs> on the Rift all the time? Could I be. feel like this is actually a very big mistake from Riot that's going to make the game unbearable to play. I think that's you know a what? good point actually to bring up, yeah. You that's know what I want? What? I want an option that turns off the crap oh. the champions yell. Pure gets a stun on the Sonstar here. He could be in a little bit of trouble. Zephyr comes in. Used his ult there, actually. But I agree. I think uh, turn off champion voices is going to inevitably be an option someday. It'll if you try and cast over it, it's just like yeah. everybody just yelling junk all the time. Coming right after replays. Because it, it's I, I do like it the way it is right now because it's only a few champions. But I've been noticing that the number as they continue to rework things, like Sivir. Yeah, it's true. Um, it just keeps getting more and more and more. Or at least kind of if they're going to keep doing it, let me come in and do some voices. <laughs> yeah, that would make it all better. Listen to Doe all the time. <laughs> Bloodthirsty. Oh, baby. There's a turret. Jossum. <laughs> Jossum. That's right. Tubular. <laughs> yep, that'd be sexy, wouldn't it? That's not the word I would use, but sure, yeah. we'll go with it. <laughs> sure would be. DFG finished on Frozen already. Okay. Ready to try to do some damage, but Najin gonna be able to take this dragon. Right after the turret too. So yep. Najin once more dominating the early game. Not much of a surprise. They got the lanes they wanted. We talked about this being very dangerous for Incredible Miracle coming in. That Karma is there to poke and to push. Succeeded in the mission. Now they got two objectives based off of the skill shots landed from the Karma pickup. Yeah. And looks like it was just Longsword, so I guess Zepha only had enough money and didn't want to build Blade. I'm actually glad we're not seeing that Brutalizer again. I think that's that delays your build too much on this Sivir pick. Also, early uh, Zerker Greaves for Zepha. That's just great for pushing. I mean, we see a lot yeah. of players sometimes get level 2 boots faster on Caitlyn as well, just as a fast, fast push technique. Yep. If you're winning your lane really hard, it's a great way to snowball. Gives you more autos to trade with as well. Yeah. But you can take down turrets much faster with those Berserker yeah. Greaves. Oh, Duke doing a lot of damage to Lilac. He's going in. Lilac has the ultimate, but barely gets it off in time before Duke kills him. And Duke living, no problem at all. Just pops that Hex Drinker, or it gets popped for him, rather. It's OK. It's not Lilac's day, it seems. No. He's, he's been playing so well recently, so just an off day, I should think. Really off day. Duke, I mean, Duke didn't even have Ignite. Doesn't, didn't have Meganar right there, didn't have to use his ult, still solo kills him. Yeah. And yes, yes it is a tough matchup, but that's not something that should be happening. Lilac using that teleport, why not? Dragon was just taken, so he's not gonna need it, presumably for a little while anyway. Yeah, he really needs that CS as well, so he doesn't yeah. continue to fall further behind the curve. Goon is playing fetch with oh. the wolf. There you go. Oh, get it, boy. <laughs> oh. You don't want to catch, like, energy bursts. Apparently, the double-headed wolf does. Eats energy bursts for breakfast. Stupid wolf. <laughs> Dumb things dogs eat. I know that's your favorite game these days, though. Oh, Dora. man. My dog is eating the dumbest stuff. <laughs> Holy cow. Like, she chews her plastic toys apart and then eats, like swallows part of it? I don't get it. It's not food. She had an IV in her arm from when I got her spayed and she ate that. <laughs> don't oh. worry, it made an appearance later. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. The joys of just, dog ownership. Just straight through the system. Huh? Yeah. Well, sort of. <laughs> we won't go into detail. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Either way, she's great. Oh, 
watch. Not taking care of his pet risk ever very well. Oh, Q lands, but Wisdom not going to go for it. Nope. Probably smart, even without Goon there. Yeah. Sure, coming around the side. Sonstar still trying to farm out this lane as best as he can. It really props to Sonstar for how well he's done in a very tough lane, at least in terms of CS. Couldn't quite keep his tower from getting whittled down ever so slowly. But yeah. And I mean, the thing is, just because you lose your tower doesn't mean you're going to lose the game or even that you've lost lane, technically. Frozen here, lurking in the side. Yeah. Um, he's he's trying to long range him. farm the caster minions. Wisdom's got a new partner on the force he's named Frozen. Watch. We'll find Wisdom with a ward quite quickly and pure firing a Q salvo over the wall, but. Yep. Don't actually hit much right there. All right. Well, Duke is Meganar again. Does that mean Lilac's going to die? Nope, not this time. Pretty sure Lilac is now just traumatized by Meganar. I would be too. It's like one of those. Oh, they're going to go in on the Goon. Nice stuff. Wisdom gets stunned. Yeah, Goon able to force him away. And Oh, Watch was going to go in, got knocked up with the Whirlwind. They trapped Tucson in for the moment. They forced the Flash. Oh. And that last hit from the ultimate, not quite enough wow. for Goong. Tucson lived because he popped that potion. Yeah. While he was running away. So very narrow escape for Tucson. But meanwhile, Lilac actually got poked very heavily or chunked down very heavily by Duke, I would say. Well, not too surprising given things are going, how things are going so far. Lilac yeah. opting to get the tier two boots alongside. He's trying to get any damage he can on the Duke, I suppose. Well, I mean, you're not really going to be able to kill this Nar so much. Maybe prevent it to dive with it. But he probably just didn't have enough. Well, he probably actually did have enough cash to get the, to finish off a uh, Seeker's arm guard. But, oh, he turned his Amptome into a, uh, into the haunting guy, so no. Yeah. Just wanted to get something in lane, not leave his gold in the bank. Dragging up at about 40. I am trying to set up some vision to get ready for that. But Najin is definitely aware of what's going on. It looks like Zeph is going to push up bot lane and then probably join them fairly soon. Oh, Duke going in again. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is definitely not Lilac's day. This wow. is just a massacre. I mean, I can't believe how much work Duke is doing with his Gnar in the 1v1. This is just getting absolutely disgusting to you watch. You know, again, we, like you said before, we haven't seen top lane domination like this since, like, Flame back in the day. Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. And there goes the lane, there goes the turret, too. Duke but, has once again destroyed Lilac in lane. And there's no, there's no reprieve from this either. I mean, this nope. composition that I am has isn't going to be one that will gracefully deal with this very tanky Nar, who is now building into that magic resistance that he will so desperately need. I mean, yeah. he's went for the Randwins early just for the slow, but now as he comes up against IM with double AP and a Corky, the more MR he builds, it's just going to be lights out here. Oh, man. In favor of Najin. Almost thought they were going to catch him coming through that brush. Oh, the ultimate used by Goon. Oh, oh he misses with that oh. Q. Oh. oh, so close. Empowered Q right there from Karma. Can't quite land onto Wisdom. Another yeah. near kill for Goon. Goon doing a good job with his Zerath accuracy this game. They can turn right onto Dragon, too, with Wisdom poked out like that. It's going to be a second Dragon for Najin. Not bad. And now the turn right around to mid lane. Looks like they want to take that turret as well and complete their destruction of all three outer turrets. They're really running away with this one. Yeah, again. Again. And I'm a bit surprised. Normally we don't see Goon debut new champions to this degree of success. Yeah. But he is doing a fantastic job on this mid lane Zara. We'll see it. Yeah. Well, Najin also doing a good job of supporting him as well. You know, we've really learned this lately that you can blind pick that Zerith if you're willing to build a comp that can protect him. Right. And also, a lot of pressure kept off Goon this game because of how well his top and bottom lanes were doing. That too, I mean, yeah. Wisdom had 
Wisdom, you can see, was very focused on trying to deal with the Sivir Karma, which you can't blame him for, because if he shuts Karma down, Karma is useless forever. Yeah. Right? That's Her sole purpose is to destroy laning phase and try and get an early tower. Now, they accomplished that due to Zephyr and Pure having some good wards and being aware that Lee Sin could be there and the timings at which he would appear in that bottom lane. They tried to make plays onto Goong as well, but Goong hit some nice stuns, and really, they should have killed Goong in the mid lane Whoa. as well. Watch was, really low on these crooks. It was really just, I think, huh. fortuitous timing for Najin that on Frozen's all in, Pure and Watch happened to be there to turn it around because yeah. that was very nearly a, a pretty easy kill for oh. Incredible Miracle. Well, Duke managed to actually kill the tier two turret by himself in top lane last game, and he's starting to get closer to that as well this time too. I yeah. am. Again, great wards though. Every time I look at this team, they have fantastic wards in the enemy jungle. This is definitely a strength that they've cultivated yeah. since the start of the season. Sonstar, very comfortable and, and safe in terms of actually getting that turret right there. Wisdom and Tucson in good positions to defend him if necessary, as well as to relay the necessary information and delay people from getting to that objective. So there are some upsides here to Incredible Miracle. Uh, their team play is certainly much stronger than it used to be. It's just right now they are getting devastated and lamed. I mean, when you compare IM to a team like Samsung, you know, you can say IM is clearly objectively a much better team. Yes. So it's not like, you know, losing to Najin even this badly you know, is too terrible for IM. They're improving over time. Oh, Frozen getting poked. Third one connects as well. Just want to get him out of lane if yep. at all possible. Take this last remaining turret. And the scary thing is, this should be IM's power spike. You know, this is where they should be sieging all these turrets, but unfortunately, they're just too far behind at this stage. Yep. They've got one tower, but that's it. Duke just being annoying on the periphery, tossing out some boomerangs to slow Lilac up, continue his gnar headache that he has been suffering from in this series. And Najin getting some time to go back and buy. Everything going their way so far. Yes, certainly looking quite comfortable to this stage. Lilac has to farm out Krugs because he's too scared to actually go into lane, and who can blame him? Yeah. You know, once again, he's died three times. Twice to Duke solo, and then once with a little bit of help. Here we go. Sonstar putting out some decent pressure. Yeah. But that'll be cleared out by Goon pretty quickly. He's a bit afraid of where Ari could be lurking right now, but Ari actually just going to farm out the bottom lane. Keep on trying to move towards that death cap. Get the AP necessary. We do see Goon already finished that item. And Frozen's damage is starting to get pretty scary, but you know, will he ever be able to get in onto anyone from Najin? That's the question. Dragging up in about a minute. 40 now. Najin looking for number three in rapid succession. Yep. Pretty much as fast as you can do it. Now, as the blue buff is headed off to Frozen, Najin very decisively moving up the mid lane. Sonstar trying to get some poke in from the side, but quick wards dropped in that brush to make sure he can't get any more free missile barrages over the wall. Yep as well as start setting up for this dragon a little bit early. Iam has lost their wards now on the bottom side as a couple minutes have passed, and this is pretty convincing vision control for incredible or for uh, Najin, rather, as we move into this third dragon of the game. Yeah, they've got all their lanes pushed. I mean, Zeph is down and bot, able to come to that dragon very easily. Duke can teleport down. Goong Watch and Pure all in position already. He can even make a pick, too, with Goon's damage. Here we go. Duke just continuing to split push. He's trying to save up his fury right there so that he has a chance to use it in case a fight breaks Whoa, out. Oh, Wisdom just getting poked really, really hard. Can they get him with the ult? Not quite. We'll see. Oh, it wasn't quite enough. Wisdom probably less than 100 health there, I'm guessing. Wow. Yeah, he Another was. Another ult from Goon that is just a hair 
away from securing a kill, the third one so far. Well, 10 seconds before Dragon, though, is a good time to get <laughs> that close. If you're not going to kill him, might as well push them out of a, a contest for Dragon. They're still going for kills right here, though. They don't so. want to commit to this. I think they should just do the Dragon. Nar is taking the red buff right now. He will succeed in stealing that away from IM. So Dragon and Red to Najin. They just continue to roll here, it looks like I am. Yeah. Not having a lot of chance to come back into this game. They're, when you start getting dominated on both sides of the map at the same time, there's not a lot of hope anymore. You have to be able to take something in return. Yeah, once again, we're seeing Najin play this out really methodically, too. Not really giving I am any room. And this first pick, Zareth for Goog, may actually, may actually work. What do you know? What do you know? But what do you know? at the same time, again, he did have a lot of help from the side lanes this game. Yeah. They, they, picked, they picked a composition that is quite good at relieving pressure from the Zareth. And even if Zareth does die, he's going to get some global gold from some turrets, especially in that bottom lane with Sivir and Karma. I think the big mistake here was I am not attempting a lane swap because basically they bought themselves two losing lanes and really three losing lanes pre-6 with Goong harassing Ari very heavily. That is not a smart purchase. I would return that one. Of oh. course, knowing me, I probably wouldn't keep this. <laughs> Blue buff over to Goong once again. Sonstar trying to get just that little bit more damage. Oh, Wisdom has. getting caught again. And that is not going to be something that Lee Sin can escape from. Another kill for Goong. Didn't even need the ult that time. Frozen attempting to split push. Yeah, trying so. to bait somebody. Uh-oh. Oh, Zephyr. He's looking for Ari. Doesn't see her. He's still scared as well he should be. Yep. And if he doesn't see Ari at the bottom side, there's no reason to walk down there and maybe die. Yeah, they when can the, just stay the turret, in there. The turret will clean it up anyway. Yep. Yeah, might as well just put the pressure on the mid lane. Keep controlling your enemy's jungle as much as you can. Those are being annoying, though. Just yeah. staying down there. Zephyr will recall. He's not going to take the dangerous road through the dark, unwarded jungle. Instead, we'll happily stay underneath the gentle protection of his turrets. Not really much gentle about it, really. It's kind of like a... Gentle to him. They it's Well, yeah, it's gentle to him. It puts a shield around him. Okay. Yeah. Kind of hugs him. Hugs him with turret yeah. shields. They're such a loving bunch, these towers. Tier 2, way better than Tier 1. Oh, yeah. Tier 1 just kind of shoots stuff. Doesn't really help you. Oh, good. Didn't get the last caster minion right there, but a shield. Oh, he's just going to try to poke Sansar again. And we'll see if that results in possibly a mid lane turret for Najin now. Now, they've got enough time that they should be able to regroup. Yeah. Maybe this tier two and bottom side, though. Frozen trying to get around, but with Watch there also. All right, yeah, looks like they oh. might be, oh, not quite. Well, there's the shield. Yeah. That's a lot of damage down onto that tower yeah. in just a few auto attacks. Every little bit helps. Najin just kind of strangling the life out of the Incredible Miracle right now, yep. tightening around the map like a python. Like a Cassiopeia. She mostly just shoots Venom. That's Cassiopeia is one of those Venom mistakes, not a strangling snake. Oh, blue buff knocked up, and Goon manages to grab that one. Pure, actually. Oh, actually, pure grabbed. I thought I saw her on Goon. Yeah. Nope. Has the Q, does secure the blue buff. Another little edge for Najin, just taking yeah. away these buffs one by one. And Duke, unrelenting pressure on the top side. Surprising he doesn't even have a Sunfire cape. I mean, not a great item to buy in this game. What's surprising is that, he, is that he's able to push so effectively without one. Yeah. Did you know Cassiopeia was Katarina's sister? I or did still know is. that. So I know because you, you read the lore a lot. I do. I love the lore. It's right. the best. You know, Cassiopeia was like, she was the son of a Noxian nobleman. And then she was all like, the I'm going to seduce huh? all these. Yeah, with the daughter, I mean. My bad, bad. <laughs> I was what? like. Did she get a sex change along with the, the snake chain? She's like, we know, don't technically I know really, the gender of the snake, I, I suppose. I really, no, she's definitely female now. Okay. 
<laughs> there are some very prominent female features that you may have missed, Doha. I might have to go back and reread the lore. <laughs> but uh, coming into that one, she's like, you know what? I'm gonna. I, I, I want to uh, be a snake now. So, you know, the sun at first is like, well, if I'm gonna make the snake change, might as well go for the whole work, the sex change as well, species and gender all at once. Let's do it. The big op. <laughs> that crazy Sharima magic. <laughs> yep. Well, that was a great story. Thanks for helping me out with that one. I like my version better than the Riot version. It's certainly more progressive. I agree. Yeah. Well, there you go. That's that's the story of Cassiopeia. Now you know. Who says our show isn't educational, huh? Good guy, Riot. Yep. Trying to bring more attention to transgender issues. There you go. And trans species issues. <laughs> that's right. It all it all began with Ezreal, and now we're moving on to Cassiopeia. Yep. Well, Najin just kind of doing the controlling the enemy jungle thing. And uh, the killing of the wisdom thing. Oh, splashes out. Oh, kicks away, watch. And he's going to live. Look at the timing from this on Najin. Goon right has used his ult again, yeah. so well this game. And yeah, he hasn't gotten those kills, but man, has he been efficient in controlling objectives. Dragon is live. Looks like I have decides they don't even remotely want to fight this one. Instead, push up the mid lane. Goog and Pure get their fourth dragon now of the match. Yeah, man, it's it has been so good the way they've been able to catch Wisdom or catch somebody and just almost destroy them right before the dragon. So Duke is unafraid of anything. Here we go. Uh, looks like Lilac's going to slow some people down a little bit. Too soon with the ult. They will get the kill on to watch, actually. But Duke coming in with an ult on to Sandstorm. No one really to follow up, though. Goong has to back away. A bit of a disjointed engage from Najin. And they get the dragon, but they're not going to really get any kills afterwards, I guess. Well, as disappointing as Lilac has been in lane, he actually did a very good job of zoning out Zepha yeah, and preventing him from getting back onto the carry set fight. Great equalizer drop straight yep. into oh, his own Duke. Nose. It is time to pay for your crimes. Goodbye. And so, they're gonna get a turn out of this too, probably. He was wanted for the murder of yeah. Rumble. Oh, Goon got killed too throughout all that, I just noticed as well. Wow, I Where actually- Where did he die? I guess Frozen killed him, actually. Yeah, I guess so. Let's find out. Yep. Yeah, just evaporated with that uh, charm into the combo with DFG, and now I am going for this Baron, and only Pure is nearby. Incredible wow. miracle, able to channel a, a couple kills, a turret, and now a Baron. That was very well done by I am. No they took kidding. A team fight, won it decisively, had the good zones, and then cleaned it up after as well. And Najin just super cocky. Instead of going oh. back to base, watch. watch actually gets the blue buff right there. But instead of going back to base, they give two kills over. Frozen all letting Goon. Goon has to be careful. He can't just stick around like he's used to. Goon yeah. is the one who's normally playing the assassins who do that. Not so. I think he's a bit overconfident in where he can be on the map. You have to play Zareth very scared all the time. Now he knows what it feels like. There you go, Goon. A taste of your own medicine. Oh. There we go. <laughs> That wolf is not good at catching anything. Lee Sin tried to play fetch with the Q. And, <laughs> nope. Can't catch a sonic wave. It's made of sound. Can't physically grab it. Certainly can't. Nope. So Aegis now onto Duke again. This will be very helpful for his oh, team. Nice wards. Tons wow. of wards wow. again yeah. for Kettleerical. Oops, a little bit of a miscommunication between Wisdom and Tucson right there. They just really want that vision. They They're just on the same it. line. They're linked now. I guess so. They're linked on the map, always roaming together. It's like a it's like a Jaeger from Pacific Rim, you know? One of them's the left brain, one of them's one of them's the, the right brain. Except they're actually just controlling two different champions instead of one. Yeah. So it's like the next so, step. So nothing like it, in fact. Well, except they put wards down right <laughs> next to each other. Didn't you see that part? <laughs> Neural link established. They're drift compatible. Are they? They are. It's Tucson and Wisdom. Come on, we know this already. <laughs> if there was a Jaeger, Wisdom and Tucson would pilot it. That's true. They are the closest thing to being drift compa compatible that we have here they in are. Korea. Yeah. It's true. Well, the 
game, but it's, you know, a similar thing happened last game, too, where Najin got cocky, made a big mistake, lost a team fight, we'll to be prolonged careful. the game a bit more. But this one is, yeah, the IM has a bit more of a chance to pr turn this one around if Najin doesn't tighten things up a bit. I am really played that out well. Uh, and Zeffa pops that ultimate, has to get away. He escapes, but, you know, kind of another one of those occurrences where Najin needs to be really careful here. They still have Goong to wave clear, though. They're not yep. going to be too worried about holding on to these towers, even with the Baron buff on the enemy team. I am not really able to turn this into a whole lot. Nar continuing to farm up in all of the lanes. Najin playing cautiously, playing defensively. Duke will get knocked up. Yeah, Mega Nar is his way out of there, though. Yeah, his veil cleared by the W. Yep. That's about it so far. They're just going to patiently wait. Baron buff is gone. Yep. Already and dragon gone. number five. Guess what? It may be in the works for Najin. Yeah, this time, though, I am has used this Baron buff to get a lot of really good vision into Najin's jungle. It's going to be a lot harder for Najin to find someone to poke out before this dragon, I think. Well, they have a minute 20 to establish some presence they do in the river so they've got that and they also have some pretty insane wave clear right here as we can see from Goong and Zepha now they will they've got a lot of wards to clear though certainly do watch with a veil that's going to be very helpful their front line just unable to get instantly charmed yep and there they find frozen in the brush lens is going down left and right Sunstar went back. If Najin can figure this out, they could just go all in, but I don't think that's going to happen. They're not going to know. Very risky for Sunstar. Yeah. But they uh, feel confident. He will be back by the time the dragon actually spawns. And so not too much punishment going to result right there. Yep. Nice split around the tornado as it spins into the brush. They could make a play onto Zephyr here if they dodge back into the river, but with no vision, they can't really do it. Here we go, though. Najin coming in. Lilac, where's that equalizer? He may have to use that defensively, watching Wisdom just trading blows. I am once to threaten the mid lane, but frankly, Najin will be perfectly happy with trading a tier two turret for dragon number five. Oh boy, here we go. Najin's starting that dragon, but I think they're gonna disengage pretty quickly. We'll see if they can poke it out. Lilac has to do something here. Oh, he gets poked pretty hard though. Oh, they managed to get the kill onto Duke though. Watch flashes out of his own cataclysm. Dragon taken by Zephyr though. That's five dragon stacks, but Najin needs to get away alive if they want to use him. Wisdom. He's going to be stunned by Pure, but Pure still taking a lot of damage. They make it the kill there. Zeph on the run as well. Kung held up. I don't think he's going to make it out of this one. And so even with that fifth dragon, only oh, Zeph and Pure Lilac get to use it. again living with just a tiny Crazy. amount of health. Kung has gotten a bit unlucky, I feel. Yeah, he really has. In this game, it seems like he at least easily. one of those kills would have gone his way. He could easily have like Look four or five this. more kills okay, right first now. First off, Duke goes in. And he gets struck. I don't know why Watch goes in right here. Now they don't have the smite of the dragon anymore. And it becomes very nearly a dragon taken by Wisdom. That was a really poor engage from Najin. Yeah. And that cost them a lot of deaths and a tier two tower. Well, Najin's getting lazy. And ladies and gentlemen, this is how you throw a game. Yeah, pretty much. But I am. You have to give them some credit as well. They're doing a good job of picking up the the pieces here. Yeah, I mean, they're using what Najin is giving them, that's for sure. They are being very decisive, especially their kills onto Frozen and Duke, who are quite good. And now, Najin marching forward. Yeah. And the five stack's still up, remember. It isn't cleared by this death, so they're still very powerful at the moment, and they will have those five stacks. I don't know, watch during the Baron. To, I don't seem to see it on watch. You can you? see it on Nar. Yeah, it says five when they've selected yeah, yeah. him right I there in the bottom left. It's really kind of hard to see on some of these champions. So, will they make a Baron attempt right now? Najin, after losing that dragon fight. But Najin's still with a, I mean, yes, they're down in gold, but this 
These five dragons are doing far more than that 4K gold. Yeah. At this late stage of the game, they'll hide in a brush for just a moment there, get some decent poke down. Rocket will not find its mark. Baron is live. Enough. See if Najin turns around on it. I am already like been pretty heavily poked out. Frozen wants to get into the back line, but Najin not baited into walking into the mid lane right now. Yeah. Very happy in the river where they already have the knowledge. Oh, Tucson. Oh, Tucson just gets destroyed. He saw those wards. Oh. Lilac took a lot of damage as well. Cataclysm, watch, taking some damage. Lilac getting a bit low, though. There's the Zonias. Can they burst him down? Duke chasing Sonstar away, and Lilac will get taken out. This is the fight that Najin wanted. Sonstar ulted against Wall, then stunned a double kill for Zephyr. And that should clear the way for Najin to take this Baron if they want to. And Frozen just couldn't get there in time. Yeah, now Trauma he's to going to get it. Trying to kill Ooh. Zeppa. Zeppa has the spell shield. He will not go down. That's close. Wisdom has to be a hero here. If he could steal Baron, he might be able to delay things a bit more, but that's all they've got. Wisdom the giant really recent. has to be a hero. Yes, he does. Coming in. He gets the... Oh, the Q doesn't connect. Yeah, no chance for Wisdom. They're gonna oh, Zeppa dies! Zephyr did die, actually. Yeah, pure. Going after Wisdom instead of keeping his carry alive. Whoops. Wow, Wisdom actually clipping through Pure's model right there and coming out the other side, so we avoided the Q as well. Weird. Wisdom with some nice mechanics. Yeah. And wow, Zephyr going after Wisdom with it, just a tiny amount of life. Look, he knew, he saw the wards there, and there was another ward just right on the other side, so Tucson not best map movement. Now Frozen is entirely zoned out right here. He just can't get back onto the carries. Look at Pure throwing a Q over the wall to make sure. Another Q coming in. So Frozen just zoned out on the flank for that entire flight. Najin doing a good job of one by one using their abilities to ensure that he couldn't engage. Yeah. But at this, well. this stage of the game, Baron now on to Najin. Zephyr, his first death of the game, but really an unnecessary one as well. Well, we're seeing some problems with Najin here, is that they, you know, they've done such a good job controlling the game right up until the end, and then they get a bit sloppy. They, it seems like they're having a little bit of trouble closing. Yeah, I would agree. I mean, we saw the same thing with OQ last game, yeah. where they could have ended the game much sooner had he not kind of autopiloted his way into the base when he didn't see anybody around and was very yep. easily picked. Duke leading the purple minion charge. That's a big wave. General Duke and his army <laughs> of Baron empowered minions. That is a very big wave. Yeah, it is. And those are. He's not oh. even going to stick around. He's going to walk back in. Wisdom trying to escape from watch right now. Does clear the Banshee's Veil. Duke with the flank. Oh, here we go. They're going to try to come in. He dodges the charm, takes a bit of damage from Sonstar. Dragon in 12. They want another five stack. Yeah, I guess so. Duke up in the top side. Will recall. Does have teleport. All right. Najin, can they poke someone out like they have for so many of the dragons this game? They've got IM in kind of an awkward position right now. Ooh, watch though. They need to be careful. They can't get poked out themselves if they want to take this dragon. Lilac just waiting. Here's the, the home teleport. guard engage. Yep, coming in, and will he be able to get a good equalizer off on this? Lilac comes in. Duke almost Meganar again. He's about to change right now. There he goes. Oh, there he goes. There's a knockup. Will they get the dragon? Wisdom there. He's ready to smite Najin. They're trying to take it. Another turret goes on in the meantime. Oh, Lee Sin gets it. IM manages to steal that dragon. Wisdom may pay for it with his life. No, he even gets out. Why is wow. this exactly like the Jin Air game? Wisdom again with an ultra clutch dragon steal to prevent yeah. the five stack. And IM hangs on again. They have proven so tenacious against these top teams. They don't go down easily. And Naj I don't even know why they started this dragon before they put yeah. it out. Wisdom 
quite easily smiting that one. Kicks Watch out, knocks Pure up in the process, and does flash and W his way to safety over the back of the pit. Najin, now are they going to wait for another Dragon? Are they going to put down some pressure? Well, we'll see. Oh boy, this has been a very weird game. Yeah. After all of that early game dominance, Najin slips up a bit. Well, slips up a lot, I'd say, at this point. This is a game that uh, a lot of other teams and champions, I think, would have ended a while ago. I don't know, Najin. You can see their immense individual talent. Mm -hmm. But this is that part of the game, too, where Karma really doesn't do much anymore. Yeah, very true. They need to use her for like a big engage or something like that. Doesn't help a whole lot. So Najin just going to play this one methodically, it seems. Don't want to take any more risks than they have to. Yep, so now we're kind of waiting for the next Baron, I suppose. Yep. Or the next Dragon. Well, it'll be Baron, Baron yeah. Baron first, but yeah. Frozen well. gets found. You know, the only other thing that can happen here is if Najin happens to win a big team fight, then they can probably just end the game. But or I am as well. Oh, that's true, yeah. Really, whoever wins a big team fight at this point could probably just end it. Especially since I am actually has another mid turret down. They yeah. have that tier two down already, so they'll be able to push up just a little bit faster into that lane. It's so bizarre that uh, Najin hasn't been able to even clear that tier two yet. Yeah, also a bit surprised. Good building very defensively now. He's got the cowl and the arm guard. Oh, he has enough money to finish his Zonia, so he'll go back and do that. Right away, finally giving him a touch more survivability. There we go. Yep. Hari with nearly 700 AP right now. She will be able to destroy someone with that DFG. Yeah. All right, well, Najin back in the lane again. Here we go, this game has slowed down quite a bit. Mid it till Baron. Yep. Battle over, the mid lane push continues, and now it's going to be Ward Wars one more time. Rosen very patiently fighting his time. Yeah. In the Raptor pit, seeing if anybody will be foolish enough to walk close to that wall where he can get the pick that may turn this game around. They need to be careful they don't get hit with an equalizer here. They're very grouped up and they're kind of bunched up in that near that river brush. Okay, now backing off. Watch has Watches. actually been designated to go into the top side yeah. and clear out that wave. Keeping Duke in the mid lane for the present. Just constantly harassing with that boomerang. So when they see Watch up there, will they engage? It looks like they might. They're certainly getting aggressive now. Well, the thing about I am is they don't really have good engage, especially against a team full of Banshees fails. Well, they need wisdom to like pull an insect or something like that if you can cue someone that doesn't have the veil. Yeah, that's I think that's a big if right now. Duke yep. and Zepha doing a good job running the front line with the veils at the moment. And also watch having one as well. And Veil in the game that we saw, Incredible Miracle play where they won in game three. The Veil was really the key item against the RA because that shut down Janera's ability to land the charm onto the proper target. Yeah. And oh, with the, the number of Veils being built this game already, and I'm sure Goong is going to be building one quite soon, uh, IM may run out of options just like Janera did with they played. Watch QEing into the Baron pit again. A little bit of poke on the Frozen as he tries to clear out that ward. Nice poke on the Frozen. Actually, Goon may ult this. Yeah, he's going to go for it. And oh, nearly kills Frozen, but he ult. poked him out. There's the recall. Can they do the Baron now? You're right, he did get the ult as well. Nope, they're just going to clear wards, it would appear. They're not going to get the pink ward behind. Wow. The red buff. Of course, with Frozen going back with home guards, it will be a very they just lost their rapid tier two return. Five. Yeah. Well, Slow Najin. minion wave pushing up into top as well in favor of Najin, however. So sooner or later, Incredible Miracle is going to have to do something about that. Rift Scuttler will see 
members of IM. And they're, whoa, whoa. Did they just start Baron? They watch, started Baron. Watch went back. Wow, and they're taking out Baron so fast. Is there anything Najin can do? Doesn't look like it, no. Baron goes to Incredible Miracle. However, 16 seconds for Dragon. They're going to rush it right away. No more Sivirul used for that engage. Yep, that's right. So it's going to be a barrened up Najin. Oh, we've never. Or I am versus a five stack. I don't Dragon. think we've seen this before. We did in Jin Air just the other day. Oh, did we? Okay, well then, never mind. So having this situation now, Najin. With the five stacks, Jin Air with five Dragon stacks did lose to Incredible Miracle with the Baron buff. Yeah. But it's a very strained situation, obviously. Everybody from Najin going back. They have to clear out this wave before it takes out their inhibitor turret and they leave themselves vulnerable. So, interesting trade. Najin with the pushing power. I am taking 30% extra. Map, yeah, 30% extra damage to minions with the. Fifth Dragon stack, so the wave clear from Najin going to be very good. I am oh. trying to lay a trap. Nobody around though. Wow, what Mosh Pit. <laughs> Let's all enjoy our Baron buffs. All right. Najin's gonna, I think they might have spotted Wisdom popping in the lane for a second there. Well, they're gonna know now. And they're gonna, are they just gonna race this? They sent Lilac back, the recalls are happening. They, you can't race a five dragon team. They yeah, do so say. much more damage to minions and towers than you do, it's impossible. So they do have to recall and actually defend right here. Now, will they get enough damage down on tower? This is gonna go down so quickly. Oh wow, yeah, two Lilac shots. Lilac pushing up, looks like they're gonna fight. There they go, Equalizer coming down, splits up Najin a little bit. They get over it very quickly with the speed though. Duke turning onto Wisdom, some decent poke onto Pure, but so again, he's not going to contribute a ton to team fights right now anyway. And he can heal himself up as well. Yeah, there's Meganar. So that is ticking down right now. Will they be able to get enough tower damage? Yeah. Looks like probably not. Sivir a bit too short range. Continual poke. Oh, here, here we Wisdom. go. Wisdom trying to get a kick. And he manages to kick Goong out. Goong zonias immediately. Duke trying to protect him. Wisdom still taking some damage. No equalizer again from Lilac. Goong with a kill there. Lilac has to pop the zonias and a kill. That is it, Najin manages to take out Frozen and Lilac, and that should be enough. Sunstar all the way poked out, and it all came down to that last engage, and Najin wins the team fight, and they're gonna win the game. Yeah, they're pushing down onto these last turrets. I am, however, nearly coming up with another big win in such yeah. a strikingly similar fashion to the game against Jin Air earlier this week. They really did a good job. Crazy stuff. You really can't count this IM team out until the very end, but it is the end, and there's a 2-0 for Najin EM Fire over Incredible Miracle. I am, I am really does have some good shot calling with behind, and that's that's quite encouraging for them as a team. Stressful game for Najin, but they yeah. do pull it out of the fire. Had that large early lead, and after giving up a few critical picks, found themselves down a Baron, but bounced back just due to the sheer number of dragons they were able to acquire early on. Yep. You know, and, and through most of that game, Najin looked very good. Duke crushed the top lane again. Zephyr and Pure did just fine in bot lane, standing in for OQ and Kane, of course. It's a tough they loss did. for IM, you know, again, like, Oh, so close, but they did have that win over Jin Air. They're looking better. They won over Samsung as well. I mean, That's they right. just won their last two matches, so they can't be too frustrated. And now.